welcome back to the channel flying right here everybody it's a beautiful day in New Jersey and I am finally out riding my 2020 street light CBO with my KST custom six bend 12 inch bars and man do I love these bars Wow that's all I can say is uh, what a difference. So welcome back to the channel everybody. Flying right here again. And, uh, if you're new to the channel, on this channel I focus on motor vlogs, ride videos, cinematic drone footage, taking you along the ride on these amazing New Jersey roads. So if you're new to the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you as the channel continues to grow. To all of my current subscribers, as always, thank you so much. Uh, always appreciate you making the time to watch, share your comments, provide your feedback so I can get better and give you better content. Also, if you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. It really uh, helps out the channel. Remember to hit that bell icon you can be reminded of future videos so what I thought I would do is uh, do a short video and uh, give you my top five impressions of these KST six bend bars that I just had installed and uh, I am actually on my way to uh, the Harley dealer now where I got them installed and uh, you're going to want to stick around. I've got a, uh, an interesting surprise on the video after this one. Or the next video you're going to see. You may see a different bike featured on the channel. And uh, I will be providing my real-time review and impressions of that bike. So again... You're going to want to stick around and stay tuned and make sure that bell icon is always clicked so you can be reminded when I do upload it. But for now, I'm going to give you my top five impressions of these bars. And uh, as you can tell from my, uh, from my opening, I absolutely love them. So uh, I, I will start with perhaps the most important impression is uh, hands down, absolutely love the bars. So, and these are not in any particular order. These are just my top five impressions. So first impression is the comfort, the, the way my arms are sitting on these bars, I think are just absolutely perfect for my height. I am uh, 5'10", 5'10 and a half. These are the 12 inch bars. And uh, as you can see, I mean, I think my arms are literally almost straight, if not uh, just straight. So overall, my first, uh, my first impression, the position is just awesome. Number two, the control, just the feel of the bike. It's just nimble. I mean, that's just the word that comes to mind. And uh, again, I don't know if I'm supposed to feel more control. I don't know if it's just in my head, but I absolutely feel much more control of the bike, better handling. Again, of course, I also upgraded uh, the front suspension. I'm gonna do a separate full video and full review on that, so stay tuned for that. Of course, that has something to do with it, but I'm just talking about the feel of my hands, wider stands, and just having a better command of the bike. So that's number two. Number three, they just look amazing. I mean, just look at this. First of all, it, it, to, the reason why I went with these bars specifically was because, in my opinion, they look as close as possible to the factory, to the factory style and the factory shape, as you can see right here. But these are thicker, and obviously, these are 12 inches. But coming in at number three is gotta be just it just looks awesome. It makes the bike look amazing from the front, 
from the back. I mean, you can see the cockpit right here now. I mean, it just looks awesome. Number four, and again, these are in no particular order, was how awesome KST was to deal with. So I called them and I had a bunch of questions before I actually purchased the, the bars. And I spoke to a gentleman by the name of Brett. I believe his name was Brett. If not, my apologies. But nonetheless, the service was just extraordinary. Gave me everything I needed. Told me, you know, what I would need, what I wouldn't need. And uh, as a matter of fact, in case you're wondering, for this bike, 2020 Street Light CVO, KST sells the extension cables as well as the extension cables for my heated grips, which come standard on my 2020 Street Light CVO. And according to KST, I didn't need them for this install, uh, just based on the height of the prior bars and these. But out of uh, an abundance of caution, I purchased them regardless. And uh, I brought them to the dealer. And as a matter of fact, the dealer confirmed they did not need the extension cables. Now, that does vary. Some dealers will still want to put the extension cables on. So you, if you're considering these and you're going to go to a dealer or a local mechanic, make sure you ask them in advance. It's not too expensive. Uh, but if you could do without spending the money, why not, right? So that's what's coming in at number four. And number five, and again, this is this is based on my overall impressions, of course. I love the fact that because these sit higher, once I put my 360 camera here, it's actually going to sit much higher than what it was before, and it's going to give us a better view of the scenery. Uh, again, that last one is probably more personal and more more specific to me using the 360 camera but um, comes in at number five for my top five impressions of these amazing KST bars so again many of my subscribers both on Instagram and if you're not following me there it's flying ride 15 same as on YouTube once I posted that I was getting this upgrade they actually said that I was gonna fall in love with the bike all over again. And just absolutely spot on and correct. The bike just feels completely different in a much better way. So if you're on the fence and you're considering, well, I think any bar, obviously, that raises your riding position to this style or this approach that you see here, I think will be just a dramatic improvement overall I would uh, highly recommend it. Don't wait. Get it done sooner than later. You know, I've had the bike uh, just about a year. And uh, I've, I've been, I've had a lot of trepidation in considering because I thought I was going to lose control. You know, I thought it was just going to feel very differently. I thought I was going to have to learn riding it all over again. But no, frankly, it was the opposite. I have much better control and it feels just right. One point that I want to make one point that I want to make is, do you have to install bearers after you go this high? Now the stock CBO brings these mirrors that you see right here. I don't know if you can see it there. And uh, I can still see, you know, the vehicles behind me. That said, there is some obstruction. The control cluster here and here, you actually see that on the mirror and it blocks about half of the mirror so it does take some getting used to but I just love the look of the uh, of the stealth without the mirrors here in the front so I might just stay with these stock mirrors for now unless I'm having an issue and I'm also looking into which mirror I would install I haven't seen any I liked so if you've got any uh, recommendations Leave them down in the comments below. Let me know what you think. If you've done this before and you've uh, you've you've looked at mirrors that you like, uh, again, leave me leave it down in the comments below. Um, I will take all, all all recommendations as I consider the options. But for now, staying like this, absolutely love it. I can see perfectly fine through the mirrors. Uh, and again, an overall just thumbs up for these. So that's going to do it for this video. Again, short video, giving you my top five impressions and uh, just overall, it's a highly recommend. So do me a favor, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. It really uh, helps out the channel. Also, remember to subscribe. We'll love to have you as we continue to grow in the channel. And uh, remember to hit that bell icon so you can be reminded of future content. 
Thanks for watching.